Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and happy Friday. I am here at my WW workshop. It is just about 640, I'm running a little bit late today. I needed a little extra sleep. It has been a week. It's been a rough week. It's been a rough week overall. As you know, I am just now getting started, like officially started into my real estate career. It's been a very busy week. I've been in and out of the office. I've been running all around. My schedule is all out of whack. It's been a week. I wasn't able to get my walking in at all this week. My food depended on the day. It just, it, it was definitely a week. So I'm running a little bit late today. No problem. My workshop doesn't start until seven, but I don't know how it's going to end up. I, I, you guys, I, I am struggling. I'm struggling to feel like there's enough time in the day for everything. And I know that as I get more settled into this real estate routine, that will help a little bit. Everything will kind of settle out. It'll just be a little bit more like normal. So let me tell you a little bit about my week as far as eating goes. So there were days that I had great eating days. There were days that I didn't. So it really just truly depended on the day. There were days, to be honest with you guys, that I didn't track a single thing because I just didn't have time. I was just eating whenever I had the opportunity. I'm finding that I'm sitting a lot. I'm preparing things on the computer a lot. I'm in classes a lot. So I definitely need to get back into the activity. It's just, it was a week to be honest with you. So we'll see what happens when I hop on the scale. I'm not anticipating a loss. I'm hoping that if I have a gain, it isn't a huge gain, but we shall see. So I'm going to run into my workshop. I'll be back to share with you guys the workshop recap as well as my weigh-in and my game plan for the upcoming week because I'm going to be doing something to basically get myself back into the groove of things and get back on track 100%. So stay tuned and I will be right back. I am officially out of my workshop. It was a great workshop. The topic, of course, was exactly what I needed for the week. And yeah, it was a fantastic workshop. So the topic that we talked about today was finding your happiness. And as I mentioned before I went in, my life has done a complete 360. I am so busy. I have a lot going on. I'm trying to learn. I'm taking classes. I'm starting over entirely in my career. So I'm not finding a lot of happiness in things that I'm doing for myself. There's not a lot of self-care and self-love right now because I'm too busy being pulled in several different directions with a new career. So this topic, again, was absolutely perfect for me. Absolutely perfect. I think it's important that we remember that not only are we on this journey to lose weight, and to change the foods that we're eating. We're also on this journey to shift our mindset and to have a lifestyle that's fulfilling and happy and something that we can sustain and live with. And I think, I know for myself, I forget about that third pillar of this weight loss all the time. And I really spend my time focusing on the weight loss and the food. And I forget about the mindset and doing things for myself that make me happy and things that help me along my journey and things in my life that are sustainable. And I really need to refocus and get back to the mindset leg of this journey. So I want to talk with you guys about what WW suggests that you can do to find your happiness and also help you along in your weight loss journey. The first thing that WW suggests is make a happy hour, a happy hour for yourself. Set some time aside, whether it's a half an hour, an hour, 15 minutes, set some time aside to do something for yourself that makes you happy. Go get a pedicure, sit outside and read a book, cuddle with your kids or your dog. Just do something one time this week that makes you happy. Give yourself a happy hour that isn't around drinks and isn't around food, but is more around your happiness and your well being. It says in studies that 40% of our happiness comes from things that we do, not from genetics, not from outside environments, but things that we do that contributes to 40% of our happiness. That's crazy. That 40% of us being happy is about the things that we do. So take that time this week to give yourself that happy hour. So for me, I'm going to get my toes done. I'm going to go get a pedicure. I'm going to take that hour. I'm not going to bring my phone. I'm not going to be on social media. I'm literally just going to sit there and I'm going to bask in the happiness of getting my toes done. And that is my happy hour this week. That is what I'm going to do to make myself happy this upcoming week. I make 
making time for that. I'm making time. I'm going to feel better. My toes are going to be pretty and I'm going to give myself the opportunity to have a happy hour. So you might be wondering, how do I decide what I'm going to do for my happy hour? So I have three suggestions for you. First of all, think about an activity that you like to do on your own by yourself. So for me, I like to go get a pedicure by myself. It gives me a chance just to relax, not think about anything, just get away from life in general, not have to talk to anybody, just close my eyes and relax. So think about an activity that you like to do alone. Now, if you'd rather do an activity with someone else, that's my se second suggestion. Think about an activity that you can do with someone else. Maybe it's going on a hike, a walk. Maybe it's going out to a healthy meal with a friend, just to have that conversation and to have some good food and relax and spend some time with your friends. Maybe that's what you need to do to help with your happiness, or maybe you need Need to do something which is my third suggestion that gives back maybe you want to volunteer somewhere you want to hand out food at the food bank you want to serve meals to the homeless maybe you want to do something that brings you happiness by giving back to others so take a moment and think about the three suggestions alone with a friend or something that you can give back and volunteer and decide what you're going to do for the upcoming week that's going to help contribute to your happiness and set some time don't let it go, guys. Don't say, well, I'm too busy or that didn't work out or I didn't have time. Make the time this week to give yourself a happy hour. I know for me, I 100 and million trillion percent need a happy hour this week. Just with running crazy in life, I need to have some time to myself. So I am committing that I'm going to go have a pedicure this week. Hell, for lack of a better word, or high water. I'm going to be getting my toes done this week and I'm going to give myself a relaxing happy hour. So now let's talk a little bit about my week and my weigh-in. Let's go a little bit about, actually first, let's start with my weigh-in. Let's start there. Let's start with what happened when I got on the scale and then I'm going to share with you guys my plan for the upcoming week. So as I mentioned, it was a rough week. It was busy. It was intense. It was crazy. There were days I was good. There were days I don't know if I was good because I didn't track. So when I stepped on the scale, I actually gained 0.8. Now, in my opinion, it could have been worse. So I was happy with the 0.8 gain. Of course, I'm not happy gaining at all. And looking back over the last few weeks of weighing in, I'm not really making a whole lot of progress. And I don't blame that on the freestyle program. I don't blame that on anybody other than myself. It's my own doing that I'm not making the progress that I want to do. So this week, I am taking a moment and I am raising my hand and I am taking a big, huge hit on the reset button. I have to. I have to get back to what I was doing months ago. I have to get back to basics, back to the beginning, and I need to start making time for Weight Watchers. I need to make time to plan my meals, to track my food. I need to make time to exercise. I have to do that for myself. So this is my official notice that I am hitting the reset button. And what does hitting the reset button mean? For me, hitting the reset button means going back to the Wendy plan. So I am going to be doing the Wendy plan again this week. I think that that is the fastest, easiest way for me to hit the reset button. I have to track my food every day. I have to stay within my points. I can't go above. I can't go below. I have to try to stay within my points so that the Wendy plan actually works. If you don't know what the Wendy plan is, I'm going to put the link for the calculator down in the description box below. You go and you enter your daily allowed points and your weekly points. You pick the day that you want to have as your high point point day. So the day that you want to essentially eat your weekly, so to speak. And the Wendy calculator will jumble all of those numbers up and spit out point values for you for the entire week. And those are the point values that you stick with. So you're going to have some high point days. You're going to have some low point days. And the reason behind the philosophy of the Wendy plan is to boost your metabolism and re jumpstart your weight loss. So it's great for people that are on a plateau. It's great for people like me that are just on the struggle bus that just need to hit the reset button. Generally, you will see a good weight loss when you do the Wendy plan because it's resetting your body. It's fueling your body in a different way than you fueled your body over the last week or months or years or however long you've been eating the same number of points every day. So I'm going to give the Wendy plan another shot this week. My high point day is going to be tomorrow, Saturday, as my husband and I will be going out for breakfast tomorrow before I go to do my open house. So we are going to use tomorrow as my high point day. So I'm going to jumble it all up. I will go ahead and insert a picture right here of kind of what the Wendy plan looks like, what my week is going to look like. And you'll see that I have high point days, low point days, and that's what I'm gonna do. 
I'm gonna stick with the Wendy plan because it makes me stick to my points. It makes me track my points. It doesn't allow me to go over my points and indulge because if I do, it kind of screws up the rest of the week on the Wendy plan. So that is my plan to help me hit the reset button this week. And I know it works because the last two times that I've done the Wendy plan, I've lost 2.8 pounds in one week and then I think it was two pounds the other week that I did the Wendy plan. So I'm in. 100%, I think it's really gonna help me re-jumpstart my weight loss and really get me back focused on Weight Watchers. So I'm hoping for quite a loss when I hop on the scale next week. I'll definitely let you guys know how my week went. I'll try to post periodically on my Facebook group. So if you're not part of my Facebook group, I'm gonna put it right there for you. Make sure that you join. We have just under 7,500 members. It's a wonderful, positive place to be. So I'll be putting periodic updates of how I'm doing on the Wendy Plan on my Facebook page. I'm really excited about it because I know that this is what I need to hit the reset button. I know this is the hard reset for me and this is going to help me get there and really get me refocused on what makes me happy. And what makes me happy, you guys, besides outside things like my husband and my dogs and my career, what makes me happy is feeling good in my skin and losing weight when I step on the scale and making progress in my journey. That's what makes me happy. So I'm moving back to happiness, hitting the reset button, and I am looking forward to the upcoming week. So I want to hear how was your guys this week? Was it what you expected? Did you gain? Did you lose? Did you feel like you had a good week, a bad week? What were your struggles? What were your wins? Let me know. Let me know down in the comments how your week went. I love hearing from you guys and being your support system and hoping that you find happiness in my Facebook group, on my YouTube channel. I want to be a source of happiness for you. So let me know in the comments how your week went. If you're new to my channel, I would love it if you would take a moment and subscribe. If you hit that little bell, you'll just be notified every time that I upload a new video. Thumbs up this one. And again, comment and let me know how your week was. Stay tuned because I'm going to show you the recipe on the back of the weekly. It's a pizza and it looks delicious. So here's to wishing you guys a happy, fulfilling week. Don't forget to take a happy hour. And here's to seeing a loss on the scale next week. We got this, guys. We can do it. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye.